Yeah, but uh, yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, we're gonna be making a video today. Uh, me and Make It Bud, we're gonna be. I'm gonna ask him some questions on some runes, uh, some general <laughs> questions that a lot of people try to ask about. You know, runes, what runes to keep, what runes to sell, uh, things like that. Oh wait, does it matter if people know the speed of your Azaria? No. So right now, okay. all my shit is on uh, special league. Stuff right, right. Okay. I and I and I tinkered with it last week, and I'm not exactly happy with the build on it, but. For the sake of talking about runes, it works. Okay, but, sweet. Like I, I wouldn't say like you should copy any of the builds per se. I, I, it, sure. It's okay. It's not optimized. It should still. If I had time to do wings, it should still get top ten. But it's not like legend contending. Sweet. I, I figured you wouldn't really care because it's, it's just special league, right? Yeah, you know, I for mean, the most part. you honestly, should be. You I, should get G three very simply. Yeah. I mean, because now wait, special league is now three hundred uh, for special league as well, or is it just regular RTA? I wonder. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. It uh. might be three hundred. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really care if it's if I get G3 or not. Like, Just to get some I, points, though, right? Some more scrolls, if anything. Yeah. If anything, yeah. I, well, I never. I always get more wings. You can never have enough wings. Ah, uh, okay. So I always get more wings. I never buy scrolls because scrolls you can swipe, but like wings true, you true. can't. That's so, true. Wings this is time, true. right? So. <clears throat> okay. So uh, what I want to go through today is um, the big question. I mean, <clears throat> runes is a very big topic to discuss. We might have to come back in the future with some more details and branch out with a couple other topics. But I think uh, things we, we want to try to stick to today is um, what runes do you decide to keep? And what do you look for on various slots? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there different values in terms of different rune sets? Right. And I think that's something that a lot of players um, want to know more about. Right, because there's differences in different slots. So, a lot of good Go questions. Ahead. I will start with the first, first two things that people need to know when they look at runes. Two absolutely important things that people need to know. They need to know what stats are grindable or gemmable and then grindable, so that whenever you look at a rune, it has to be looked through that lens. You can't say look at a rune at face value and look at the how much juice it has, how many stats it has. You have to look at it in an ideal world after ha it has gotten its perfect gem and then grind. What does its stats look like? That's how you, f you have to look at the finished rune. You can't look at it just as a basic, like what it is at the moment. That's why I never reap things with attack percent, HP percent, defense percent, because those can all be grinded on top of gems, right? Mm -hmm. And that goes right into rule number two, which is uh, generally when you grind runes, add grindstones that ups the efficiency it makes the rune better right. right so you have to look at it from that standpoint so yeah i've been giving uh, a lot of people that insight and mentality as well i mean i i would actually say I, I got a lot of that from you uh is uh looking at the rune and the end result is what matters the most that's like that's uh, one of the one, most important yeah. things that's that one phrase right there could take you a long way correct and one more thing you need to know is mm -hmm. any beginner that's just starting out needs to know what stats cannot be can or cannot be on what slots Right. Uh, I don't think I need to go into it here. That's something that's easily easily obtainable online, unless you want me to mention. I mean, it I'll, just I'll, I'll, I'll give them the the quick run, quick rundown. Right, <laughs> slot one yeah. cannot obtain um, which one? Defense percent and flat defense. Slot two cannot obtain attack percent and flat attack. Right. Those are the two main big ones. Slot five can obtain all of those. Right. Except for uh, can slot five actually get flat HP? Even though it's slot a main five, slot five. So slot five can get everything. Everything, right. Slot one cannot get any defensive stat. Slot two can be anything. Uh, so basically, your restrictions are essentially on slots one and three, where right. one cannot have any defense, mm -hmm. and three cannot have any attack base. Perfect. Everything else is thing. fair game. Right. Um, but obviously, whatever mm -hmm. you have on your main stat, you can't have as a substat. you got to understand that concept as you look at your runes exactly and i think that's the big thing as well so going back to what make it about says here with uh grinding right and i mean uh, enchanting right sometimes you guys might be like hey my slot one rune i have this defense grind how come i can't grind it it's because you cannot put defense on here not because you have the grind so that's something important to note i mean uh, enchant sorry okay so i guess i'll just say we can start right so sure. whenever i talk about efficiency generally it's you want to look at your Units, let's you can flip to the Diana by the way as we talk about this. Sure. <clears throat> um, whenever we talk about runes and efficiencies, you want to think of your six runes as a melting pot of stats, right? It's not one rune in isolation. You want to look at runes added together. What that means is if I need to hit a hundred crit rate, the hundred crit rate doesn't need to be distributed among all my runes, it can come from one rune, right? And why that's important is because 
at the end of the day, I want the most stats added up on the bruisers, right? I want it to be the best bruiser possible. Now, in order to be the best bruiser possible, I need the most grinds on my shit, right? I want the biggest rolls and the most stats grinded possible. Does that make sense? That makes sense, yeah. Great. So, because of that, let's look at the slot 5 here, and let's look at the slot 4. I don't remember what's on it. It might have changed, but right, if I run it correctly, Ooh, it wow. should have... Oh, wait. Oh, oh I can run? see. Oh, I don't see. I cannot. I'll watch on delay. Uh, let's <laughs> so, see slot here. 5. I can... Let's see, I'll show it to you. Can see now? Perfect, yeah. yeah. So if you look at the slot, oops, don't, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm sure. Let me just max I don't see anything on your side, so. Cool. Ah, sure. Okay. So if you look at the uh, slot five here, right, why this one's such a good slot five is that everything is grinded on, right? right? And you can actually click power up to see like the individual rolls themselves. They're all pretty okay, pretty beefy, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you really don't have many wasted stats, right? You've gotten your your eight HP, your like ignore the gemmed stat, right? Pretend mm -hmm. that was a flat defense or something, right? right? But look at your HP. That's a max roll. Your speed is, you know, one plus a near max roll, and then your defense is like two max rolls plus a little bit. So. In summary, this is like a purple and a third, right? Which is really hard to get, like, fully loaded out. Right. This is then beautiful. you come in and gem on top of it a stat that is grindable and then grind on top of it. You have a super beefy rune that is, like, got everything in it, right? Right. So that is a very efficient high rune that has a lot of stuff. But where are you going to get that crit rate? You know, imagine if this rune had some crit rate and all your runes had crit rate, right? Um, imagine if all your runes had a little bit of crit rate. The problem with that is that crit rate is not grindable. You can't grind it, so you're losing you out potentially on a stat there. So if you flip to the slot two. Yep. So wait, before we slip to the slot two, this is ideally the perfect slot five is to have four grindable stats because you can do that. With slot one and threes, you cannot have four grindable stats, right? That's that correct. would be three. So in the ideal perfect world, you would like to get three grindable stats here, three grindable stats here, and four grindable stats here some way yeah. somehow with the end game of your rune so even if you have a crit damage a resistance and accuracy or a flat as long as it's not hit into it you'll be able to enchant that out and make it into the ideally perfect rune so yeah that, that should go without being said something that, that players should look for in their purple and legend runes when they're obtaining them on what <coughs> to keep and sell right just in a nutshell yeah the goal is just to have as many grinded stats period you want as many things grinded and if you look at that slot too all that crit rate is made up for on this Beautiful. slot two here right mm -hmm. now in an ideal ideal world this resistance is not a seven resist it's a flat a, it's a normal flat attack, attack. Percent that i could then grind it but hey uh, unfortunately the rune gods did not give me good runes so this well, is that, the best we're, we're talking worry. ideal perfect of perfect worlds man i mean you're only gonna yeah. get a handful of those in your entire account <clears throat> pretty much yeah right so but this so, is still but, very beautiful but this is amazing. you know like with my my account is two thousand runes on it right it's wow. a melting pot mm -hmm. right it's it's about how all the runes six out of 2,000 runes, you only need six to come together to make one unit. Mm -hmm. So that's why whenever I do runes, reaps, or you know whatever it is, I always look in it, look at it in isolation, not on what unit it is on. Right. Right. I always look at it to make make it the most orangey, the most grinded, thickest rune possible, uh, no matter what it is. The exception to that is if it's a really high fast rune that I know exactly what unit it's going to go on that I may choose to add accuracy over attack or mm. something like that. Mm -hmm. But generally, you, you want to make it as beefy and as thick as possible because it's about the combination of six runes together. Right. And, you know, you're going to get a ton of these over time. So you want to make them as good that's, as possible. That's the thing I see that a lot of players do incorrectly is, like, they'll choose to, like, specifically make that rune for one specific unit and they will, like, enchant in a crit rate <coughs> or a crit damage where that rune could have been... You know much more versatile for a wider range of units if and a higher efficiency if they had done like hp percent or something like that on it because that's grindable right making the overall efficiency of the rune higher so correct that, that's absolutely correct right like uh if you could if you were enchanting like if you were putting in um nine if, if, if you, even if you got a nine crit rate roll right mm -hmm. uh it's still not as good as like getting a 23% attack roll, right? Which can, if you can compare one versus possible. the other. 
right? Yeah, that's the that's the max, right? That you can obtain from like, thirteen. <laughs> I'm grind. talking max, max, right? right. Even 20 percent attack is probably is worth more than nine mm -hmm. crit rate. So right. you almost never really want a gem in crit rate or crit damage, unless you're going for like an illusion, uh, like a like an illusion set. Then then maybe you're literally maximizing just for that. But for for the sake of like bruisery type stuff mm -hmm. in in RTA and whatnot, you, these have to be as thick as possible. Yeah, I totally agree. So yeah, um, there, there, is there is there a specific rundown? Okay, so let's let's get more into. So now we talked about grinds, enchants. What should players should look for on runes? Let's get more into that basic question of how do I know what runes to keep? Right, I think a lot of players are going to ask that question. Yeah, what is your answer to that question? How, what runes should I keep? So the answer is, if there's any way for that rune to roll in a way that you'll ever use it, you keep it. So actually, you can go to... So I was farming for a couple hours this morning. I kept runes that I would, like, that I haven't rolled yet. Mm -hmm. But if we go to the uh, whatever's in the inventory... Sure. But, uh, what, what kind of uh, rune set do you know? Or just anyone? Uh, I was doing giants, so, but anything. Like, you can just look to see what isn't plus, plussed up, right? Yep. Um, whatever's in the inventory. Ah, we'll show them an example this. of what you have uh, already have <coughs> Yeah, kept. so at the bottom of each section here, right, will be right. the unrolled rune. So let, let's take this swift rune, for example. Oh, this is a perfect one for you to uh, discuss yeah. on. But so, like, on this one, right, like, a lot of people would say, hey, it's swift, I'm not going to use it, right? But, hey, you could use these on dungeon runs, you could use them in R5, Your you can use units. them. Mm -hmm. If, if you're yes. faint memory and have a really, really weird uh, light pally at one point, you can make a really <laughs> tanky, swift light pally. He, he used that at one point. Mm. But imagine if you had like 31% HP out of this, and then you turn it into like a 38% HP, right. and then you gemmed in speed onto this, right? That would be a pretty sick rune, right? This or... rune is very perfect because like, like we discussed earlier, slot one and three, you're looking for three grindable stats right so no matter what the last one is as long as you have two already which is which is like the only two you can get here percent wise hp and defense percent that are grindable as long as you have those two in there you're going to be able to uh to in in, in chat in the um in ending it doesn't matter right what you in chat in anymore because you're getting the max <coughs> you're getting you can be exactly. able to put in speed no matter what for the last yeah, one whatever it, whenever i look in. at a rune and there's one stat that's dead on it i don't care right mm -hmm. the only time i start caring is if there's two dead stats like or if it I rolls into that stat right that, that's yeah yeah when, and the, the assumption though we're talking just keeping right the assumption is that i'm keeping it with the assumption that it's not going to roll in if it rolls in i probably mm -hmm. sell it but if it doesn't i have a rune that is probably something i'm going to use Let's look so for... one dead stat is not a big deal i'm going to keep it i agree sure. i definitely agree let's look for a more questionable rune and then uh, maybe we can power okay. it up and see your thought process. Yeah, let's process. see if I have anything. I mean, I, I was literally these, these are like good, my screen and, and farmed for like a couple hours, so I don't remember what I had. Like uh, these, obviously, you're looking for speed, so that's a no-brainer. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. <coughs> this. I mean, you're... feel free to like thumb through anything to say, hey, why'd you keep this one, too? Are you doing this crit rate because you can hit potentially nah, defense I percent? would probably sell that. But it was more of it came out of a pack, so I kind of felt bad about selling it at the you time. You want to hit it for three? Is, just you, can go ahead and sell, you can go ahead and sell that for me, too, actually. Yeah, you don't want to hit three yeah. just for fun. No, really? Because yeah, because even if this hit, yeah, uh, you're only gonna get two grindable stats. Even if with it this. hit 38 defense, I'm never gonna use it because I have two. F By the way, all right. So one more thing, if you have um, crit rate slot four, right? What mm -hmm. units use it? Right, Dianas use it, mm -hmm. Vertihals use it, uh, possibly some water monkeys use it. Weird water monkeys use it. So like, you crit rate can get what attack percent hp percent and defense everything, percent everything. and speed you want four grindable stats on a crit rate rune right mm -hmm. right crit rate runes want four grindable stats what does this have one grindable plus if you gem in one two grindables that's terrible so right. go ahead and sell this one if you want <laughs> please please <laughs> yeah sell. i'll sell my work for me and then um so just one thing to keep in mind though guys there are different leeway like this is the hard this is this comes to the hardest thing to explain to players there is a certain leeway in the type of player you are and the type of pos in the position you are in the <coughs> game whether you will keep runes or not keep these in mind that we're talking at like the end game level and to be op the most optimal but as you guys are progressing the game and you guys are a little bit earlier or mid game you will have some flexibility and leeway to keep these runes hit them and use them for as is until you can get an upgrade because you are still trying to currently rune up your units but as you can he hear and see here we're on making a bunch account he has 2000 runes so his rune standards are currently now very high right so just keep that in pretty mind. much so uh, player, I, mean, I think a lot of players would actually still choose to keep that if they don't have crit rate violent runes and they're not farming a lot of db10 yet so 
there is some flexibility guys so don't 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 be like level 45 and sell that rune right away you know you might I need mean, that. if there's any chance for that rune to roll into something that you will use for your account at that moment in time then you keep and roll until it can't get there i like so that. even if it so like when i started right we we're doing blue runes because i would absolutely keep it right right if it's a even if it's a four base speed i would keep it because i don't have anything faster but as i have a million of them i'm just gonna then i will sell the ones i don't need because i'll never use it all right let's power so, this up one right here but that makes a lot that makes exactly the right sense keep it if you use it. okay that low-key i wanted it to do that so then you could <laughs> yeah so this is a, <laughs> this this is a position sell. this is a sell yeah. right but uh give the thought process for some of the players out there right yeah so for me personally if this rune turned into 17 base speed which is 21 grinded speed right i'm never burning a legend on this so 21 speed plus 14 attack plus 11 accuracy and i don't care what that third fourth stat is because the best gem for this would probably be hp percent mm -hmm. right whenever you look at these that fourth stat doesn't matter right i'm i would originally gem out accuracy but i can't because it now has a roll so this would have been hp percent i'm it's not a rune i'm gonna use right the only way that you might consider keeping this is what if the roll was 13 you still would sell it i would still sell it because for something like this i need my speed and attack to both get the big juicy rolls mm -hmm. i need my fourth roll to be either defense or hp therefore the one that wasn't defense or hp i'll take accuracy out for that got it makes sense so you, that way you that's how you get all four stats represented and grinded out again keep in mind disclaimer if you're a little bit earlier game you will probably still hit this rune and you probably you will still, still use it if you get 17 you, speed or something like that yeah they if would you still were use earlier it. in this yeah for sure i would definitely keep it because 17 speed 21 speed right and then plus the accuracy is definitely like an offset or something but i have no use for that ever. all right this is a good one to explain to players too who are wondering always why flat stats are good even still with speed this is a good one to explain uh, I mean, so if this turns into a 24 speed rune, right? It has potential for 24 speed, which means when you grind it, it turns into 28. You could put that on a really uh, arena frigate, or even now it has 22 potential, which is 26 potential. So I keep going, right? Right. Because if it goes to 26 speed grinded, I could put this onto maybe like a 10th string siege unit right. that I would throw in there. So this a lot would of not people... make an RTA lineup. Exactly. So a lot of people out there, you know, flat stat runes or main stat runes are not very good right but if it has any potential to be a six star purple with speed in there and it has that speed potential you'll still decide to use it because the units that you will use them on let's say like chloe or attack bar boosters don't necessarily need to have the stats they just need to be there to take the first turn right and not correct let's be real a lot of you guys don't have a lot of fast runes so any opportunity you get to make a really fast rune to put on those units which there's a lot of that need these uh fast runes uh you go for it regardless of the flat stat and more so for runes that are a little bit more rare like violet yeah some people don't know despair violet and rage are the lowest drop rates in their respective dungeons so there is a little bit more flexibility and leeway towards those specific runes as well yep that is correct um so yeah you, you can go ahead and sell this one oh this, this is, is a good one for you to talk about yeah let's talk about this one make it a bud <coughs> yeah so yeah, I, i'm seeing i'm seeing a lot of potential <laughs> in this one here because if we if we manage to hit a lot of flat defense this would be really really good dude like that wow this is uh, i know right mm -hmm. I, tell me more yeah so why don't we power up that to that to 12 and let's see what it looks like <laughs> all right you said it not me no i'm just kidding uh so that one probably came from world boss or something I right or you just lagged something. out or you clicked or something like yeah. that something like that yeah let's see if we got any more yeah, i saw that i was like he's gonna click on that <laughs> <laughs> well we, we should we should talk about that for a second there um I, purple I was five rolling that purple oh, purple ahead. five speed rune right let's say that slot five right there purple five speed or that slot six purple five speed rune had seven percent i mean it was main stat hp percent with seven attack percent seven defense percent and five speed you still keep to roll for potential usage right yeah for swift right if it's got base or even speed. even anything that was guard let's say anything <coughs> because that's uh, purple potential with max efficiencies with speed on a slot six purple purple i don't legend i do really because yeah, nowadays for me, if it's 20 base speed, if it's a five star, it's not enough for me. So uh, so the potential of getting a 20 base speed, well, where it's you grind in my... four to be 24 with 14 defense, 14 attack with a main stat percentage, is not enough? 
Wow. Not for my account anymore. It's just, mm. it's like, I w you could look, you could actually sort by speed on my slot threes of all my equipped and unequipped runes. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see I'm not equipping some 28 speed runes and 27 speed. Oh, so you have enough already currently right now. I have right. a ton. But like, I would say 99% of the players out there ones. will probably keep that and hit it to make some potential. Yeah, you can sort by speed and like literally go and like see that there's a lot I'm not using that are super fast. And it Which like one? hurts speed? me. Yeah, you sort by speed and you can check all my equipped runes too. And you'll see like what's equipped and like what's used and not used. Um, and it like kind of hurts me too. Like all these runes I used to like fist pump about, run up and down the hallway on. And like I'm not using a lot of them anymore because it's about efficiency. So, and just that, that combination didn't quite work out. It's a lot of them I end up not using. Plus specialty, I kind of changed my box a bit. So I didn't really get a full like rune overhaul as i would like i didn't actually get to fully integrate everything oh by the way that five star rune on the chilling that's uh that's a prime beautiful. example of why you wow rune, why you that is a legend. max legend no no wait wait did it miss one did you hit a five or a four on it ah you, hit a five. you missed at, one i bought it from the magic shop at plus four so this was Ooh. at S this was at swc last year in clay top was it two years ago yeah it was clay's room thompson was right next i was there i remember this i remember yes. this I, I, it was a plus four rune. I was like, hey, Thompson, watch this shit. I'm going to buy this rune. And then as this thing got to plus 19, Thompson's eyes got wide open. No, I no, like, hey, I remember shit. this. Like, don't wake this rune up. You know, let it, let, it do its, let it do its thing. And then when it hit 24, me and my drunken ass went around, and I was just, like, cheering and yelling and high-fiving everyone. We were probably confused out of this world and didn't know what the hell was going on. No, but, I remember that. We were we were all in uh, Clay's room. Like, Baron <laughs> was there. Everybody's there. The YD was there. That was probably, like... That was probably one of the few times where all the content creators were like in one room. It was like everybody. Yeah. Shredded was in there. Uh, even Tedans was in there. Everybody was in there. <laughs> right? Everybody, dude. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was, that was a good time. That was a really good time. Good times, man. But yeah, so this I started as a four, four speed, and I still bought. Do you still remember too at this time? Uh, <clears throat> Robbie, who is a German streamer who no longer streams and plays oh, Hathor. Oh, God. I yes, summoned him at a Hathor in one wind scroll. That hurts so and bad. And back then, you didn't have Hathor, and you were. You were very salty. That I remember so that. That hurt so bad, dude. That mm -hmm. hurt so bad. That's yep. the one monster I needed. And then I just decided to go ham on 30k stones and just get it done. And, and you got it, dude. And I got it. Yeah, this is a 28 speed run you're talking about here, right? Like this. You're not even using this. Yeah, pretty much. I, I mean, mean, but if you wanted to, if you had a siege unit or something like that, like a second Chloe or a, a, a Megan or whatever that you use, you, you would probably slap this on there. That's, I can see. Yeah, absolutely. I've just been like super... It. It, like a full rune overhaul on my account takes easily 30 hours plus like easy on this account because it's so complex right when you have 2000 runes and like every every elemental unit that you need except for the lightning emperors um Kapos, please um it, it becomes really complex because you don't need you you can't put your fastest bio set on a unit right you have to mix your sets to make the optimal speed you want to bring the overall lineup speed up you don't want just one fast unit hanging out in the middle of nowhere right so to to find a way find a point at which they converge is quite difficult and there's a lot of guess and check and swap i'm not supposed to look at that right what's up i was not supposed to look at the shannon right you can look at whatever you want oh, okay you sweet can, all right you can okay. actually look at all i feel like this is a surprise motherfucker kind of unit right there baby no oh. this is probably one of the lesser <laughs> why, why did you do this like what was the thought process for this for for fun this is a special league in case I mess up and only have two stars left. I, at least I have something I can throw down. <laughs> like, oh. I've never drafted this once. But yeah, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. you guys are uh, tuning into the uh, tuning into the stream right now, or you guys are tuning in from YouTube. Uh, this is actually uh, the minimum standard you guys are looking for for your Giants Shannon. If you guys are just getting uh, into a be beginner's Giants B10 team, this is what stats you're looking for for your Shannon. Yeah, minimally, so you can complete uh, GB10 successfully. Yeah. Yeah. If not, just unsummon the Shannon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. For those of you guys who do Shannon. Much. Damn, so this dude. Is, this is a special league box. You can feel free to look at whatever you want on here. I feel like Shannon is like uh, Fran's little sister. Like if they, they just did, a, if they just made her first skill stun, oh Fran's man, so would it be bad? Better, though. Yeah, Fran's yeah. So much better. <laughs> yeah, right. Because this is more of a debuffer, right? This is more of a support. But dude. I don't. It's more of a hey, I messed up and I only have two stars left. <laughs> look at this <laughs> attack, me. attack buff and me. defense buff. That's quite nice. No, it's it's a lot of utility for two stars. I just yeah. typically, I, I rely on four stars a lot in special league. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll rarely bump into a spot where I'll use two. And by rarely, I mean never. Hey, have you tried this <coughs> unit out? It's going on a little bit of a tangent, though. I just don't I don't, just don't get him. 
It's just weird. I don't either. That's it's why weird. he's unawakened and he is not. He's yeah. yeah he'll he'll get something. He has a nice attack lead skeeter skill though, just for fun. We'll see. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, it's 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 third skill is like a unique effect, but it's it's kind of a bad unique effect, so it doesn't yeah. really do anything. Okay. It doesn't um, add value. Uh, feel free. Uh, what should we talk about now? Uh, is there anything we can elaborate uh, anymore? No, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll just it's... power up some of these runes while you're, kind of, you're talking then. Sure, I mean, I think we kind of covered it, right? Slot 5 mm -hmm. and 4. So slot 5, just general rule of thumb, you want 4 grindable stats. Slot 4, generally you're talking about crit damage. If you're talking about bruiser rune, like a crit damage, uh, crit rate rune, you're going to want 4 grindable stats. If you're looking at an HP rune, chances are you just want speed with defense. Those are your tanky stats. And then attack is a plus. And then it, you know, the fourth stat, right? It could either be flat HP into a gemmed flat HP, or it could be accuracy. So like things when it's not crit damage, crit rate, that's when you can talk about having two to three grindable stats. Um, what else? A uh, quick question: You don't use this at 19 speed, do you? Uh, yeah, that's a damage rune. I could use it. You can still use it. Nah, okay. nah, I keep it. I'll keep it for now. Okay, I'll keep going then. Uh, oh, it's not done yet. It, but, so I don't see. know what it'll ever go on. It may go on like a. Well, this, who I knows? Mean, you're looking at who a, knows, you're but... looking at a one par from blue rune. Just saying. Yeah, I know. All I do is put in the swap and click solve, and it. Okay. You know, I don't know. I probably would sell it, but I don't know. I, I have to look at my fatal runes because they also. Hmm. I mean, you could sell it for shits. So if it hits 19, go ahead and sell it. How about this? If it hits 19, sell it. <laughs> Can we do okay. that? Let's do it. Let's do it. If it hits 19, we sell ah, it. actually hits your crit rate, Damn. so you're like, oh, maybe I could use actually, it. Actually, you could sell it. This is blue. blue it's still blue. Yeah, that's what I'm telling yeah, you. It's still blue. Up. But players, you guys should keep in mind, you should probably keep that. Yeah, so look, yeah, we went over some basics on uh, runes, grinds, enchants. Um, really... If there's anything to take from this this one video or this one discussion we've had here today it's definitely that you should really look at the runes for what they are at the end result which in turn you know you need to gain some knowledge and grinds enchants and various runes and what what stats you can get on them all right this is only going to be like one speed better if anything but we'll see yeah basically you just want to put the most grinds and stuff as you can on your units on your runes so uh and just imagine imagine your rune with one stat grinded gemmed out Imagine your runes with the best, with the ideal stat that gemmed in, right? Don't imagine it as what it looks like right now. Imagine it with something gemmed in. Uh, and also, never, ever, ever, ever re -app anything with attack percent, HP percent, defense percent, innates, <clears throat> and, and speed. Never, in, never re -app anything with speed. Never re -app anything with speed. <laughs> the um, lesson learned. If there's one takeaway from the video, never, ever re -app anything with speed innate. And I think you should really tell players that they should really only re-up Violent for the majority of players out there, to be honest. Like Violent <coughs> and Will, I feel like. Everything else is not as good value. And it, it's more pertinent when the player is more free to play. Sure. So so two actually so two reasons. For the beginning players, mm -hmm. I would say Violent for sure. Because of two reasons. First of all, it takes longer to farm Violent. It drops at a lesser rate than the others. Mm -hmm. And two, Violent, you can go for two types of rooms, right? Either Bruiser or Fast, right? If it's got like 25 speed, I really don't care what the other stats are. I'm very happy, right? I will find a way to gem in HP or defense or whatever it is. You can go for two types versus if I'm going for swift, it's pretty much only the fast rune that I care about, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or despair. I really only care about the fast stat on there. Uh, the exception to that would be if you're PvPing and you're in the G1, G2 range, uh, you could look to start reapping your will runes. Um, because a lot of players have not been able to farm Necro much. Necro generally takes longer than Giants, or Dragons, and Giants. So people don't tend to farm Necro much, so their Will Runes are lacking. So if their Will Runes are lacking... Oh. <laughs> look at the, look I mean, if still 20, I mean, I think you would probably still use it, maybe, right? 20 I would use, yeah. Yeah, Because you can turn the add speed into it. <clears throat> because keep in mind, if this hits 20, what does this rune become, right? 14, 14, 20 14, with 14. speed. Probably 5 to 8 you're going to drop on it. I don't think you've dropped a Legend. Yeah. And then you drop some uh, speed on that, so you're looking at a double-digit speed amount. Yeah, so, so it's, it's actually route. quite nice, yeah. Quite nice. And it's because the HP and defense were all pretty decent rolls and all able to be grinded on. Well, what if it hits max HP or defense here now? <clears throat> uh, I kind of puke and keep it. <laughs> now, what if it's mid-defense? Mid by the way, <clears throat> when you look at these, don't underestimate innate stats, right? Innate stats are still half a roll, so like... 
a perp a blue rune with an innate stat is the same as a purple rune without an innate stat. Mm -hmm. They're the so, same thing. Just just a quick thing. What are innate stats? Innate stats are the stats that are right beneath the rune. So as you can see, it has an innate stat of crit damage. Some runes have it, some runes don't. It's a random luck of draw when you obtain a rune that has a uh, innate. Uh, an innate cannot be rolled below. So let's say we have crit damage there. We're actually unable to get crit damage as our roll for our last roll on the bottom. Whether it's a blue or a purple or even a, uh, a white rune, you cannot get crit damage anymore on the bottom. And that's the reason why when you do reaps, right? This goes into reaps now. You want to try to reap runes that have innate, like innate flat stats. So you're not going to be able to reap and obtain any of those flat stats on any of your rolls. So just a quick, um, what, is, what are innates? A lot of people are confused like, still on what those are. I mean, unless if you are just starting out and don't have very many legend runes, mm -hmm. I think it is okay to be reapping runes without innates, legend runes without innates. Violent you first. absolutely need it. Mm -hmm. uh, violent first, and if you run out, maybe some other set, but generally violent. Like when Jeff J Mac and I did his video before, mm -hmm. uh, the man was lacking some innate stat runes, so we did some non innate ones, and it's a lower probability. So uh, actually, a little case in point, right? Brian, let's go to my HP slot 4's Vile Runes, uh, and let's look for a plus 12 rune that has 17 speed. It's on the Ritesh. <coughs> there you go. Yeah, so like this rune here is a prime reap target because it has a dead block, a blocker of resistance here, so it can't ever get resist, and so I'm only looking for speed, right? So. Exactly. Versus if I if I had if resist was not if there was no innate stat there's a chance for resist to pop out so it's a wait lower is it a legend get, <laughs> yeah so hey go ahead and dump five reaps into this and let's let's see if we get something good that's so this so the way this rune rolled is either a double speed one flat attack one crit damage which is more unlikely or most likely it's probably a triple speed um, one crit damage with a max flat attack. Yeah, let's hope we get a high speed would be cool. Although I don't really need it. Oh, each percent resistance. Wow. Yeah. I don't really need it though, to be honest. Oh yeah, you haven't done your reups yet. Are you doing it on stream or are you just? Yeah, chilling? I'm doing it. I'm doing it later today. Oh yeah. wow, thank and you. I got, for, uh... I got leashes too. Sick. Well, thank you for letting us do five. Appreciate that. Yeah. You got the. Let's see. <laughs> you got the hot. I've seen you. You got a guy a thirty speed rune on a slot right? four violet. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, on a slot well, four maybe violet. You do it twice. Ugh. Yeah. See, you know the best feeling is when you get. One roll, one roll. No, I mean, no roll, no roll, no, like, no roll, no roll, no roll. I have had that yeah. a couple times. Although for discussion, it's not a bad idea to do like a non-HP rune here and do like a CD rune or something. Something that has more like stat discussions, but. You want to? I mean, if you, let's, let's see if you have uh, any. I don't know two if more. I have We any. can do two more. Yeah, yeah we I don't can know look if you for, have any. Um, uh, innate one, right? I don't think I'll have any with innate. You could try to look for it, but I really don't think I have any innate with innate. Percent, uh, what HP you have can't there. touch that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be one. The other ones are good. Yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta get more runes, man. Wow, this gotta is a very good. nice purple. I like. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's nice. <laughs> it is okay. I mean, you're missing on two like 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 two speed but, there. But but you HP. see how the perception is. This is nice, right? Because they're all grinded out. Mm -hmm. Right now, imagine if that crit rate was defense, right? You would be like, well, this this shit's insane, right? Yep. But if you really look at it, that HP is only. It's an Five and a six. It's, it's low and low mid. It's kind of small. That yep. speed is not a max roll. So this is like blue and a half, actually. Right? And this speed is could like... actually be two more. Actually, three more. One roll and yes. two more for the max. So this is actually like a blue and a half, but it looks nice because it's all this. It is nice because there's all this orange shit on it. And if that was a crit rate was defense, that'd be insane. And it's still the same type of rune. Exactly. Right? The power of, more a, more of a purple hero rune. I guess we just go back to that HP one. Yeah, I think now, so. Sometimes I'll do like slot two speeds. Um, mm. I do those a lot too. Oh yeah, slot two speeds. Those, I started doing those as well. Yeah, because those are generally pretty easy. You just you just want um, grindable stats on it. We got three <laughs> left well, here. Actually, slot two speeds a little different. You in an ideal world on a slot two speed, you have. Actually, we could we could go look at one of the runes. We're not definitely not reacting. But if you go to my slot two bio speeds, um, there's one sort by crit rate, and I got this like a couple of weeks ago. So, this rune, slot two speeds in an ideal world have a lot of your stats on something that is. God it, damn! You, so in an ideal world, on these, you you're able to gem in a stat that is grindable and have all your stats on something else, right? And then hopefully, and and generally the way it works out is all your 
non-grindable stats are piled into one like this, and you grind three more out because you can only grind HP, attack, yeah. and defense. You only anyways. get three, not like crit damage where you get the beauty of four, right? Correct, right? So you want all the the juice, like the grind's already going to give you all the juice on those attack, defense, and HP. Right. So you want everything onto the crit rate. So now you can pair this rune with other runes like that slot five and four that are all grinded out. They don't right. have crit rate, right? Because you grinded them all out. But right. now they pair with this rune here that makes up for the crit rate on the others, except now those runes have four gems on each. This one has three gems. That's 11 gems worth of stats total. So good, With crit man. rate being distributed among those three. So you see how if those three runes had crit rate on all of them, you'd be missing out on grinds. Exactly. So ideally, you just want all the juice on a non-grindable uh, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy, or resistance. Depending on what you want, right? There's different values for there. But crit rate, of course, being very, very nice. I mean, I wouldn't really mind 35 crit damage either, but you want just one of those. Yeah. Because if you were to have it on 2-2, right? Let's say crit rate and crit damage <coughs> here. As you can see, you're only going to potentially have two grindable stats. Now, the rune's still going to be good, but come on, let's be real. More grindable stats, more efficiency, more stats overall. Makes the, rune, makes the rune better. So this was beautiful, man. Even though it's 5-5 five and 5-5 uh, five, five attack and defense, at least you got the two. You just have to hit two. Yeah, because look at it grind this way. It out, the one. The grind, the grinds do the work for you, right? Those grinds later on will be ten grinds each, right? Mm -hmm. So the difference, if when I slap ten grinds onto this, uh, this will be like fifteen attack, fifteen defense, right? Versus being a max of eighteen and eighteen. Right. Well, three doesn't really matter, right? Three doesn't really matter when I have all the other things that are grinded. Versus, if that defense percent was like accuracy instead, that's way worse than these being low ones. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. This is a beautiful Anyways. room. So I got this while I was waiting in a rental car line. That's pretty, <laughs> cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Made the way to feel a little bit better. That was my free app, yeah. All right, I got two left here. I'm gonna try yep. our best again. See where we can go. I mean, yeah, a speed would be the best, but... Oh, if that was like an 18 and... speed, man. Close. The accuracy <laughs> 18... feels kind of bad though. Yeah, I mean, eight, eight, 18 I would... If the other two rolls are into something else that's good, I probably would keep for a siege or something, but... Mm. Actually, yeah, even if this was 18 speed, you can't inshot out that, that pesky accuracy. Yeah. But you are you don't have to shoot for the moon all the time, as long as it's an upgrade for something. I want 30 speed. You could, you could try to perfect something, but most people aren't. You know, I don't like to try to perfect things. No, this was not good. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we tried our best in getting there. You guys also keep in mind that, uh, I mean, those reaps didn't go too well, but keep in mind, when you're reapping on an endgame account like this, your standards become a little bit higher. Your 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 value of how many reaps that need to be pushed in to make a, a a new upgraded rune like on a quality of rune this big, quite high. So yep, I wish you the best of luck on hitting it, man. But yeah, Thanks, we went man. we went uh, through quite a few things here today. Yeah, uh, if you guys are watching from the YouTube channel, hopefully that gives you a little bit more insight on runes. I'll definitely try to bring uh, make it about back in the future again, and we can discuss more topics. I mean, we've done speed ticks before. We're gonna, we've done runes now. There can be other things in the future that we can discuss and talk about. I appreciate all your insight, make it about. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, if you guys uh, have any other questions or you guys uh, want to suggest us some things we want to discuss, leave a <coughs> comment below. Make sure you hit that like as well as I'm gonna put the uh, link to uh, make it about uh, Twitch channel because each streams from time to time like every so often, several times a month, I would say. So come in and ask some questions because uh, he, he, I, I think he actually enjoys when you pick his pick, pick his brain. So, yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much for your insight today. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I will definitely uh, check you out later when you are uh, doing some of your reaps and stuff. Sure. Sounds good, man. <laughs> Hopefully you bring the good luck. 30 speed, man. Yeah, it's going to happen. Speed. I'm cool with 29, 2 or 28. Okay. Just just say quad roll. Oh, well. Not low quad roll. There we go. Yeah, mid quad roll and above. There you go. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Not not picky. I'm not a picky one. All right. Talk to you later, man. <laughs> awesome, man. See you, dude. Peace.